On the 20th of June, it's World Localization Day. Now, while that might sound like a contradiction in terms, World Localization Day, it isn't. It's merely the promotion of a set of values that I believe would advantage the vast majority of us. The establishment of local economies, the prioritization of eating healthy, locally sourced food, the prioritization of local economies, local communities, local businesses. <clears throat> In a way, it's just obviously World Localization Day is a different way to organize society. At the moment, we live in a world that is dominated by centralization. Most real power is centralized, is centralized through, uh, you know, national governments, centralized through global corporations. So many of the decisions we make about the food we eat, the entertainment we watch, the media we consume, the way we live, lives primarily governed about around our ability to make money to purchase services is kind of preordained by systems and ideals to which we have little connection and which in my opinion don't have our best interests at heart. World Localization Day I suppose is an opportunity to get involved in events and ideas that promote localization. I really wanted to do like a local market near where I live, like locally sourced food from local farmers, put on local entertainment. We encourage like community and assemblies locally about how the community ought be run, could be run, should be run. Find ways of making sure more voices communally are heard, that the community isn't sort of somehow hijacked by the interests of centralized transnational interests. Listen to uh, like the aims of the WLD, which is World Local Localization Day. Most food should come from nearby farmers. Well, that's good, isn't it? That makes sense. Food not being shipped around the world, healthier for you, healthier for the food, particularly if you eat meat, I suppose, to eat, you know, I don't, you know, I'm a vegan or whatever, but not everyone is. I reckon eating local food is super sensible. The money we spend on everyday goods continues to recirculate in local economies but building community wealth and that sort of seems like a, an, an obvious thing to say but a lot of resources are siphoned off elsewhere into transnational corporations that have bank accounts in friendly, tax friendly territories where tax can be avoided or evaded. Multinational businesses and banks adhere to the rules of society not the other way around. That's something I was alluding to at the beginning we live lives fashioned by their interests rather than them having businesses that are fashioned around our requirements and interests. I wonder if that's possible. I wonder if real localization can happen in tandem with globalization and continued expanse of the interest of transnational corporations or if this is something that has to be directly addressed and regulated. It's a very big question and not one that I can answer. I suppose the only thing that we can control is our own endeavours towards localization as individuals and as collectives establishing different communities based on different principles and sort of in a way stepping out. We talk a lot about going off grid don't we but often when we talk about it it's kind of seen as an individualistic pursuit somehow like you might disappear off into the woods and build yourself a cabin and learn to catch salmon or whatever you know which is cool in its own way but more effective and I think probably more appropriate for someone like me would be to establish communities with like-minded people where we can live if without the intervention of corporate and state interests that we're not into. Now for some people, well, that's naive. What about hospitals? What about roads? And there's a lot of questions to be answered about municipality and military and all those kind of things. I'm sh sure that there are, you know, there are people better equipped and educated to answer those questions than me. But it's an ideal to aspire to rather than an ideal to neglect and negate because it's at odds with the interests of the most powerful institutes that currently dominate the way that systems are organised. Local businesses providing meaningful employment opportunities instead of our hard earned cash being immediately siphoned off to some distant corporate headquarters. Again, this is something that we've talked about. So localisation is about bringing the economy back home to human scale. Yeah, because we can't comprehend what's going on with massive multinationals, tech giants. It's beyond our comprehension. And I think a lot of the division and conflict is a result of us 
having to live in a kind of turbulent miasma of competing ideas when really we're evolved to live in communities with one or two objectives that are shared by the members of that community. Let's feed ourselves, protect ourselves, look after one another. That's enough for like 150 people to deal with, not having to tackle all sorts of esoteric abstract ideals and compare them to other people's. It's, what's the bloody point? So there you go. That's what World Localization Day is about. Have a look at their website, see how you can participate. I'm going to be looking to be setting up events, opportunities and debates around localization, as I believe that it might be the political idea that saves us from our current intransigence and stasis. Communities that are responsible for their own sustenance and governance, free from the intervention of state and government. This is an optimistic worldview, of course, because it assumes that communities are capable of regulating themselves and their members democratically, freely and openly. A more cynical view is, no, 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 if you don't have the state sort of threatening you, hovering over you, then criminals and renegades will run amok. Well, it seems to me there's a good degree of that happening anyway, and sometimes at the highest level of government. Thanks for uh, listening to this message. Please support Helen Norberg Hodge and the other great people involved in World Localization Day and let me know what you think, uh, well, however you bloody want. Mwah.